Most amateur golfers see the handle getting pulled in the golf swing, slow motion with their favorite tour player, and decide to give it a try. So go up to the top and stop with one hand. Here's why you shouldn't. The golf ball right there is the finish line. If she just takes the handle from the top, go ahead and do that, and it gets to the ball, the club head's way back here. She has no choice but to pull it even further. She'd have to turn, she's gonna lose a lot of speed, the ball's gonna go out to the right, or she'd have to roll it to square it up, she'd hook it. So go back up to the top and stop. And what we hear me saying to Sarah a lot is, feel like you cast the club out a little bit. So now this time she's gonna let that club head go first. There you go. And as the club head goes, you can see that the handle's gonna go anyway. So if she went again halfway with the club head on its arc, the handle goes anyway. So that's what you're really seeing in the golf swing, leaving room for the club head to have momentum. And now there's gonna be a photo finish at the bottom and then the club would release over to here. So that's what you're really seeing when you're seeing the handle getting pulled. It's not getting pulled. It's just gonna go back up to the top. It's just gonna come down to here anyway when that goes on its arc, on its journey, this is gonna go. But it only goes halfway, again, leaving room for the club and the handle to have a photo finish at the bottom. And sometimes the handle might beat it by a sliver, which you see that a little bit of forward shaft lean, which is okay. We're not saying it doesn't happen but it doesn't happen because they're pulling at it. It happens because of what you just saw right there. There's a big arc, and inside of that, there's a smaller arc. There's two arcs at play. So why don't you hit one there for us? That's it, feel the arc. The handle's gonna go anyway, that's it. There we go.